chanting thank you, Derek, and thinking to myself, for what? You know, I'm just trying to do my job, so thank you guys. Derek, for 20 straight years, you've put on that uniform. Coming to the ballpark today, knowing it was the last time you were taking the field here in the Bronx and putting on those pinstripes, what was that feeling like for you? It was odd. I mean, if I'm going to be honest with you, I, these, these last few weeks have gotten tougher and tougher. I, I, I told you members of the media I didn't want to talk about it because I try not to think about it. Uh, but it was very, very difficult, but uh, it was all worthwhile. You've always been focused on one thing, and that one thing has been winning and winning championships. Were you able to take a step back today and kind of take it all in? Yeah, I mean, this was this this was a lot of fun. I mean, it's no, thank you. You had quite the greeting community there. The four four here, some of your other teammates, Joe Torrey. What was it like to see them here on the field supporting you in your final game? It's uh. You know, those guys are like brothers. You know, Mr. T's like a father. Uh, the whole organization, the fans. Uh, I want to congratulate the Orioles and wish them luck going into the playoffs. Uh, uh, they deserve it. Before I let you go, what are you going to miss most about this uniform and this place? Everything. Um, but most importantly, uh, I'm going to miss the fans. They're, they're what made this special. Derek, thanks for the time. Send it back up to you guys. Well, thank you, Meredith, and, and thank you to Derek. Uh, obviously, he held himself in check there, Kenny. He was moved. Uh, he was touched. I think seeing his old teammates and his old manager, and then going to say hello to his parents and his sister and his friends. Obviously, um, a very emotional moment for Derek Jeter, but 